Good morning guys and welcome back to another video. Um, this week is more of an informational one that I'm doing uh, based on a well, follow on from last week's video uh, which I did a full day of eating in my carb cycling diet. had a few people contact me asking me to explain exactly what um, the carb cycling diet is. So here we go, I'm going to take this, uh, take you through this as sort of quickly as I can really, to give you an idea and break down exactly of, of what to do, um, what it's about if you want to incorporate it into your, um, into your diet. It's a great um, thing to try for fat loss. Um, obviously people differ from person to person on how you get the results and how quickly you get results, um, but it's a proven way um, of accelerating fat loss and I obviously use it myself and I can vouch for the fact that it, it does work for me anyway. So what exactly is carb cycling? Um, basically what carb cycling is, it's a process of confusing the body um, into using your carbs and fats as energy source. Obviously you know you may know already that the primary fuel source for, for your body is carbohydrates. Um, when you're exercising general day to day stuff um, and obviously your secondary one is fat um, so obviously when you're depleted of carbs your body will then turn to fat to for energy source um, so basically carb cycling will be a, is a process of throughout the week um, breaking down your sort of daily diet between low very low carbs to a moderate level of carbs and then a high day or two of carbs um, basically this will then obviously get the system because you basically your system will get used to um, your body sorry will get used to a diet very quickly so if you're constantly staying on a low carb diet your body will adapt very quickly same as with you know moderate high so when you're as you're sort of moving up and down you know low moderate high is confusing the body and therefore having the effect it does on fat burning and uh, your energy sources um, so with regards to um, the carbs, fats and proteins on this diet. As I just explained then with carbohydrates, um, you will basically split it out as I just explained into low day, medium day and a high day. Um, fat, fat wise, now this, this will sort of differ as the week goes on um, with your macros. Generally, on, a, on when you're on the lowest carb days, you will obviously have a lot higher fat day. Um, as I've mentioned previously before. So, I mean, for instance, I mean, I will obviously, I'm going to show you a breakdown exactly, I'll give you an example in a bit. Um, but yeah, so you will have like a very high carb, a very high fat day, sorry, on a low carb day. And then as you sort of increase the carbs, the sort of fat level will decrease. Um, protein wise, your protein will stay the same all week on this diet. Um, it will not fluctuate or drop. Um, whatever your macros is, whatever you've calculated for your protein, that will stick for the entire week, so that will not change. Um, so basically this is a process, the high carb day is a process of replenishing your glycogen stores in your body. Your body sort of, say it's got like a tank for instance, a tank of carbs um, in it. Let's see if I do sort of a diagram here, sort of here's a, you know, here's a tank tank there. And at the moment when you're on a low carb day, you'll sort of hang around at the bottom here, medium carb day. And then obviously a high carb day, you, you want to fill up your tank of carbohydrates um, for the energy source. So um, with, uh, high, with the actual high carb days themselves, um, as I just explained there, it's just the process of filling your glycogen stores up again where you've been depleted um, for the previous two or three days with, with medium to low level carbs. Um, uh, moderate, Moderate uh, carb days, again, as I explained, you'll sort of just, you could just say, I suppose, sort of half fill your tank with carbs. Um, and then with your low carb, as I explained at the bottom here, it's just your body will be running on very low carbs for that day. Um, and then obviously, again, higher fats and, you know, same level of proteins. Um, the duration uh, that you need to run this for now, Generally, you sort of recommend about a two week period. You wouldn't sort of run it for you know a day or two, stop, go to a diet and come back to it. Uh, you need to run it for, I'd say run it for a couple of weeks and then just see what progress you're making. 
um, you should notice a, a reasonably good um, results in the first couple of weeks. Um, as, you know, as I said before, everybody's different. Uh, everybody's body is different. What works for me might not work for you. Um, might not work for somebody else. Um, so it's going to be a case of, of trying, trying, starting it off, looking at the results, seeing how you're progressing. If you're not progressing at a reasonable level, then you can muck around with the, you know, you know move the macros around and try. Um, but yeah, it's definitely worth trying, I'd say, for at least for two weeks to start with and just see what results you, you're going to be getting. So with um, the weekly split, um, actually one thing I will mention first before that is obviously the main thing you need to do before any of this is calculate your macros. Because um, you need to know exactly what calories you're on um, before, you know, before you can even look at splitting it into carbs, proteins and fats. Um, if you look at my videos, I'll put it in as well on here somewhere, a uh, link to the video. The first ever video I've done, YouTube, um, was a video on calculating your calories and your macros. So I suggest that'd be a good point to start, is to watch the video, get your calories together, for depending on your cutting, you know, what level you are, etc. Calculate them properly so you know where to start from. Um, so going back to the weekly split, um, so I'm just going to give you basically an example of how I split it. Um, you know, obviously the figures that I'm going to put on here aren't what I'm doing. It's just to give you an example, basically, um, to say like on a Monday start, if say a Monday for instance, um, you could start on a. So we have Monday as a low carb. So let's if we put in. A green space there, a blue, sorry, green, blue, not colour blind. Um, blue space there, which is, say, your carb intake. So as you can see, it's a very low percentage. On, say, the Tuesday, um, you could put your sort of carb level, say, it would go up to there, for instance. Um, and then on your high carb day, You'd really raise that up, raise it up even more, um, and then going back to Thursday, you literally it's you know it's a case of repeating itself. So with carbs, you'd have again another low, another moderate, and then another high, and then the you know process would start again. Um, so we go back to low, and then we go back to medium. Basically, and it will start again. Um, if we go then to protein, say protein levels, um, they would stay sort of a similar, you know, say a chunk like that, for instance. So you could say that would be the protein, obviously the same amount of protein. Um, I'll give you some figures in a minute just to break that down. And then fats, we just sort of say then the rest, you know, your fat intake then would be, well, it'd be more than that, you'd be sort of taking out the rest of the rest of your calories basically for the day. Um, so you'd have slightly less and less again. Just keep that up there actually. So like that, for instance. So it sort of gives you a breakdown of sort of how the days would split out. Um, so like for instance, with let's go if we look at if we look at sort of calories wise on these days, um, of instance of a breakdown of what you would do. Um, say like on a Monday on a low a low day. Uh, let's put that on the floor. Um, for instance, generally. You could you'd probably be looking at a carb, say for instance, a carb level of just 35 grams, which is obviously very, very low, um, but that's how you really need to, with that sort of level, you're getting down towards sort of keto, ketogenic stage um, of, of a day. Um, so you'd have carbs at say 35, protein, you'd say around 165, and then your fats would actually be You'd be looking at around sort of 70 to 80 grams of fat, so that's quite a lot 
in one day. Um, so yeah, that's a, that's a day for people that love you know peanut butter, nuts, healthy fats, avocados. This is a day where you're going to enjoy it. Um, make the most of it because obviously the rest of the week. Um, and then you could say for the moderate day, if we come up here, you then say your carbs could be at one, say for instance, one sort of 50, um, protein again, be about 165, fats, you would then, generally you'd sort of drop it down to about sort of uh, 50, yeah, 40, about 40, you know, for, say for instance, 40 grams of fats on, on the moderate day. And then down here, if we're gonna then look at a, where is it, high carb day down here. Um, for your high carb day, you'd be having a carb level of around, sort of, say for me, I'd, I'd aim for about 300, 300 grams of carbs. Um, then you'd be having protein again, would be staying around the same level. And then whatever you've got left would be fat um, out of that. Um, so I don't know, say for instance, you'd be looking at about 20, 20 to sort of 30, for 20 to 30 grams of fats for the, for the uh, high carb day. Um, so yeah, so that, that sort of gives you an overall picture um, of how it, how it sort of works. One thing I would suggest is obviously on your high carb day is to ensure that if possible you use it on a day when you're going to be using a lot of energy. I, you know, doing a lot of exercise out, so you're going on a run, a hike, or you're doing a big heavy session in the gym, um, leg session, you know, uh, squatting, etc. That's the only tip, main tip that I'll give you is to aim your high days. I mean, obviously you can split your week round as as and if you wish, um, but don't put too high. Do not put too hard high. I'm getting the words out. Too high carb days back to back. Um, obviously, because you're filling your glycogen stores up on your high carb day, and if you continue to fill them again, they're like here, for instance, it's going to be a case of overflowing, and excess will be stored as fat. Um, so you don't really want to be aiming for that. So as soon as you've had your high carb day, then drop it straight down to the low, um, and then work your way up again. But as I say, jig this around depending on your training plan, exactly what you're doing. Um, and yeah, so uh, I, that's pretty much um, you know just what I wanted to go over for in this briefly. I didn't want to go on too long into it because a lot of people, you know, it's fine, it's confusing. Um, so uh, yeah, so I hope you found this interest anyway, um, get an idea of what it is. If you want any further help or have any questions or further help, uh, DM me or drop a comment in the uh, comment section on this video and I'll do the best I can to assist you. Um, so yeah, so all I'll say guys is um, thanks for watching, hope you've enjoyed, again, hope you've enjoyed it and found it interesting. Um, if you want to see more videos like this, more informational videos, then let me know. So please, uh, please, if you could do me the honour of um, subscribing. Um, currently, as you will see, uh, about 57, 57 odd percent of my viewers aren't subscribed to my channel. So please hit that subscribe button, notification bell, and you'll see exactly when all my videos are coming. Obviously, like the video, please, if you found this interesting, because it does help me out a great deal, as I've said in the past. So um, anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap it up there. Uh, have a good day, take care all, and I'll see you all very soon for another video. Cheers.